how's it going? Cecilia here, and I'm going to talk today about eight reasons why people quit on you. Yes, eight people, eight reasons why people say bye-bye. Um, before we get started, let me do the administrative. My name is Cecilia Morris. I'm your engineer by education, home business owner by desire. And I help entrepreneurs, network, and affiliate marketers learn how to use digital marketing strategies for either their brick and mortar or their online businesses. All righty, let me make sure you can hear me. That's always important. Bye. Yeah, you can hear me. Okay, that's cool. All right, if you're watching me for the first time, give me a five, like high five. If you've watched me before, give me a wave or a fist bump. If you've gotten value, please like, comment, and share. And now I really need you to like, comment, and share because I'm back on punishment with Facebook. I tell you, I don't know what is up. I posted on Facebook um, and I included a link to my Facebook group so people could join my group. And Facebook shut me down. I did one share and they shut me down until next Thursday at like 11 o'clock. So if you are getting value or if you've ever got value, help a sister out and give me a share since Facebook put me back on punishment since I posted my link to my Facebook group. If you want to join my Facebook group, it's called Online Business Success Partners. Feel free to join the group because there I share special information that I don't always share on this page. All right, so with that being said, um, today's topic, eight reasons why people quit on you. And the reason why I want to talk about this today is because I've had <laughs> Sunday, I did my usual Sunday webinar, and someone signed up for my webinar. So I'm super excited, right? I mean, I get signups all the time, but this particular person has been following me for like almost a year and a half, something like that. And the very next day, she sent me an email saying that she was getting out because she's got too much going on and can't work the business. <laughs> and I was like, okay, whatever. I don't get upset. Hey, Felisa, how you doing? I don't get upset anymore when people leave because at the end of the day, um, my vision is for me. And if you don't have your own vision for you, and I'm thinking to myself, this girl's been broke from jump. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to say broke because broke is a negative term. She's been short on money for a very long time, at least the whole time I've known her and probably a long time before that. But here it is. I give you an opportunity to show you the easiest, most cost effective way that I know of to make money online as a business. And she's like, oh, I changed my mind, I don't have time. And I'm like, well, you sure got a lot of time to complain about how you ain't got no money. <laughs> but anywho, so that made me think about um, um, something that I had listened to a while ago on eight reasons why people quit on you. All right, so we're gonna run through these eight reasons and then um, please stay until the end. I do have a bonus for you. Hey, Thomas, how you doing? Um, I do have a bonus for you if you stay until the end. Um, so let's get into it. Number one is unrealistic expectations. So when I think about my friend who joined on Sunday and quit on Monday, and I do consider her my friend, even though we're internet friends, if you've been following me for a year, geez Louise, sorry, if you've been following me for over a year, um, commenting, liking, sharing my posts, then yes, I consider you one of my internet friends. So she had unrealistic expectations. She knows what I do. She knows how we met. Why would she not think this would be a business where she would have not have to do anything? So unrealistic expectations. But think about what you do in your business. So you set unrealistic expectations, especially if you're part of one of those companies that get three who get three who get three, and then you'll be rich in six months and you can quit your job and da 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 da. Um, that's unrealistic. So um, make sure when you're talking to people, whether online or in person, about your business, that you are clear. Talk about your own journey. What's going on with you? Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I can't take your call right now. Talk about what's going on with you um, so that they understand, hey, this is my journey. Like I tell people all the time, I started this journey online in August of 2016. I started my personal coaching part of this. It's these people don't leave me alone. <laughs> Look, I never get calls and now they won't stop. Um, but yeah, then I started my personal coaching part of this January of 2018. And then July of 2018 is when I started to monetize my personal coaching. 
but that's my journey. So somebody might look at that and be like, oh, wow, that's like two years. Okay, but how about spending two years at a job and you get a 30 cent raise every year? So you've been two years at your job and all they've given you is 60 cents on the dollar for your blood, sweat, and tears showing up when you're supposed to be there, leaving when they tell you to, working overtime when you have to. So don't complain about my journey because I'm cool with what I'm doing. It's whether or not you're cool with what you are doing. So make sure you set realistic expectations. Reason number two is no faith in themselves. Oh, something's in my eye. So um, I got another message, or not another, I got a message today from a friend of mine that said that she's ready to get started. So I told her there's two levels. You can get started at the level where you can make residual income off your team, or if you don't want to do that, you can just get started at um, the basic level. And if you decide to build up later, um, that's cool. All right. So um, she was like, well, I do want to build a team, but I'm not sure if I can. So that's number two, not having faith in themselves. People have to believe in themselves because I can't believe in you for you. I know what I can teach you. I know what I can show you. But if you don't believe in yourself, then you won't get to where you want to go. You have to believe that you are the you, you can do it. Remember I say, if you say you can or you say you cannot, either way, you're right. So you have to have faith in yourself. Number three is listening to the wrong people. You know, when you step into this entrepreneurial world, this online journey, and I don't care if it's brick and mortar or if it is online, but um, people will give you their opinion whether you ask for it or not. And most of the time, people don't mean you anything bad. They're just concerned for you. And their way of showing their concern is telling you everything negative under the sun that can go wrong and never saying anything positive about, oh, wow, well, you're pretty ingenious. Yeah, I think you can do this. But once again, give them the benefit of the doubt. They're saying it because they are they care about you and they're trying to protect you and assume they just don't mean harm. They just don't know better. But don't listen to them. If you feel convicted, and I mean in your bones, you are convicted that you know this is what you want to do. This is where you want to go. You want to fire your boss. You want to travel more. You want to spend more time with your family. You want to build up a savings then don't listen. Let them say their piece or whatever. Don't argue. Don't try to convince them because it's your journey, not theirs, but just don't listen to them. <laughs> this is a big one. And I see this a lot, shiny object syndrome. What that means in reality is that people just don't have a focus. They're going to keep jumping. Hey, how you doing? I haven't seen you in forever. Oh my gosh. Thank you for joining in, Gita. Loving to have you here. Um, Shiny object syndrome. And you know, it happens a lot, especially on the internet. It's a lot harder with the brick and mortar because you invested in the building and um, renovations or whatever that you've done. But online, people are so quick. Jump, 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 jump. Always looking for the next big thing. All of a sudden, they see this post. Somebody just made $500 in 24 hours, and they think they can do it too. What I have learned on this internet journey is that... Um, people share their success, but they won't share the struggle. I don't mind sharing my struggle because I need people to understand how I got to this point in my life, in my spirit, in my being. So I don't mind sharing my struggle. But shiny object syndrome, if you remember the little cartoon commercial where the guy is digging through the dirt and he's like this close to the diamonds, and then right under him is the guy that's same distance away, but he just says, forget it and throws down the shovel. Well, that's where most people who have shiny syndrome are. They're like right there, but because they don't see it, because they don't believe, because they don't have faith, because they're listening to other people, then they jumble the next big thing thinking they're going to have results. So I like to use the analogy of my college education. So I'm an engineer. And when I went to Purdue, the running joke <laughs> was that all the supervision majors were ex-engineers. So they couldn't cut it in the engineering curriculum, so they went into supervision. That was the joke. But let's think about what they mean, what that means in terms of time. So an engineering um, degree, bachelor's, depending on the major, will take four to five years. We'll say four. So if two years into it, you decide, oh, not so much, um, I'm going to switch to supervision. Well, the supervision curriculum is four years too. Now you may have some classes that might transfer because um, you um, 
got the prerequisites or whatever. So there may be some classes that overlap between engineering and supervision. So you don't have to take the whole curriculum. So maybe your three years, four years is cut down to three years. Okay, but now you've taken a four year degree and turned it into five years because you switched gears midstream. Plus engineers get paid more than supervision majors anyway. Try that, okay? <laughs> so shiny objects, that's why people quit. You have not convinced them that your opportunity works and you do that by giving people your results. If you're new and you don't have any results, share the results of someone else on your team. Now I'm not talking about share the results of the superstar who is like making $10,000 a week or whatever. Share the results of a lower level person that is working it just like you are, but is seeing results. That's only if you don't have any of your own. All right, number five is distractions. People get distracted. Once again, my friend who joined Sunday and quit on Monday, talking about she doesn't have time. You make time for what you want to do. That's real talk. We all get the same 24 hours a day. If you want to do something, you're going to make time to do it. So she should just tell me I want to do it. And I'd have been like, I was like, okay, either way. But to give me this long, drawn out story about everything that's going on in her life, when of course, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, girl, don't say nothing else to me about you not having no money. All right. Fear. The fear is a natural reaction to trying something new. If you are not scared of trying a new venture and getting out of your comfort zone, then maybe this thing is not for you because you should be a little scared. The difference between somebody who's scared and takes action and somebody who's scared and doesn't take action is that the person who's scared and takes action is fed up with their current situation and doesn't care how scared they are. They know that it's got to be better than what they got going on right now. The person who's scared and doesn't take action is complacent, a little mousy, and it's like, you know, my job isn't that bad. My boss isn't that bad. My coworkers aren't that bad. So they'd rather ride it out with the not that bads because they're scared instead of stepping out of their fear and getting in a better situation. Number um, seven, we're at seven now. There is no commitment. People are not committed to themselves. And this one always cracks me up. So you will commit to a job. You will commit to working five days a week or four 10-hour days, however your shift has worked out. Um, go to work, show up when they tell you, eat lunch when they tell you, leave when they say it's okay, work overtime when they tell you you have to work overtime. Yes, there is a such thing as mandatory overtime. You'll do all of that for an employee, but you won't even commit to putting in two hours, an hour a day for yourself crazy, right? Or how about a friend of mine, the funniest-ish ever, um, called me two weeks after the Beyonce concert and asked me if she could borrow $100. Well, I see you online. I see you're doing okay. I'm like, girl, look, wasn't you just at the Beyonce concert? And I know those tickets were very expensive. I mean, I'm not saying they're outrageous or whatever, but if two weeks out of the concert, you asking me to borrow $100, I think you need to reevaluate how you're spending your money. They have no commitment to themselves in terms of getting the tools, getting the training, getting the intellectual property they need to be successful in this business space. But they'll commit to going to the Beyonce concert. Needless to say, no, I did not loan her to $100. And then number eight, and this is one that you really need to dig down and figure out what it is. People will say it's too expensive. Now, from my perspective, being a product-based network marketing entrepreneur for a lot of years, I will agree. It can be too expensive if you are not recruiting. If you like the product and you use the product, that's great. If you like the product, you're using the product, but you're not selling the product, not so great. You can spend upwards to $200 a month by the time you factor in the monthly auto ship and shipping and handling on a product for a company that's supposed to be building you a business and never see any results. So think about a way that you can provide a product, service, or opportunity to someone that is within their budget and that they can openly and honestly and ethically speak to someone else about because they believe in the company, believe in the products, believe in the business. All right. So those are the eight reasons why people quit on you. You might want to read 
go through and re go through. You might want to re watch this video and write them down. Um, the reason why I didn't put the eight in the comments is because I want you to watch and listen and pay attention. All right, so the two bonuses that I want to offer you bonus number one, I'm going to type it in here right now. If you want to learn how to avoid these eight pitfalls, then you need to click the link that I'm typing in the comments to learn how to not get people to quit on you, how to stop people from leaving you. And the way to do this is with attraction marketing. I know you're like, that's all you talk about is attraction marketing because it works. You know, I used to be one of those people, hotel parties, home meetings, three-way calls, um, cold calls that was me like all day for eight months in 2016 and i was ready to give up and quit but this online thing i'm attracting people to me i did a webinar yesterday and um thomas was on the webinar felisa was on the webinar had some other people on there as well i'll just mention them since they're here with me today um but they were on the webinar and i would never have met thomas or felisa had it not been online and both of them at some point in our history together have purchased some sort of product or service from me so you understand this whole internet thing i'm telling you attraction marketing makes it a lot easier for you to build and grow your business and it works for brick and mortar businesses as well which is what i talked about on my training webinar last night which brings me to bonus number two Bonus number two, if you want access to my live training webinar I did last night, it was about an hour and 40 minutes and everybody that came stayed until the end, um, go to my group, Online Business Success Partner. I'm gonna put that in there, hashtag, Online Business Success Partners. That video is up, but it is only up in that group until Sunday at midnight. After Sunday at midnight, it goes down, you're gonna have to pay to play. All right, so with that being said, number one, if you wanna know how to stop people from leaving your team and learn how to make sure you are sending your newbies the right message so they stay, you gotta get and learn how to use attraction marketing. Get the ebook, I put the link in there. Let me see if I can pin it. Yep, I'm gonna pin it or whatever. So that's in there. And then step two, if you want my training video that I did last night that talks about lead magnets, capture pages, and how to monetize, and then I did some extra bonus training on Facebook ads, then go to my group, Online Business Success Partners. It'll be up until Sunday. And as I said, after that, you'll have to pay to play. All right, that's it for today. I'm Cecilia Morris, your engineer by education, home business owner by desire, and I'll see you next time.